Hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been so long since I've made a video. Don't worry, I'm gonna get into like why, where have I been, and where am I going because life is just changing and we are moving up and I'm super excited. But today, this video is about getting ready for my bridal shower. You will be seeing much more bridal content coming up. As you may or may not know, I am having a destination wedding in Paris at the Four Seasons Hotel and I'm so excited. Guys, I've been like planning out the itinerary this weekend and um, it's, I'm just, it's gonna be a really fun summer. <laughs> Also, so this bridal shower is specifically for the dancers that I teach. You know, I am a dance instructor, dance choreographer, and if I'm not like working, doing my day-to-day -day job, I'm more than likely in the studio doing something. So, yep, that's what this today. I'm really excited to celebrate with my dancers and just, you know, get excited about the wedding. And yeah, so I'm gonna go for like a very like soft glam look, nothing too extra because because we want to look elegant, you know, like this is like not like I'm not about to go to the club or anything. I just want to look glowy, like have this soft beauty to my makeup. So that's kind of what I'm going for. A simpler look, but I will be putting lashes on, you know, doing contour, all of that. And as I'm doing this makeup, I just kind of want to debrief, you know, where have I been? Because it's been like months months since I've made a video I'm sure you're like Monet like where have you been so um I have an exciting announcement I'm just gonna like jump right into it we're just gonna jump right into it but guys I am excited to let you know that I have been building a home for the past seven months now and the house is gonna be ready probably early June and so that occupied a bunch of my time just like the design process and making sure that you know we were getting everything that we wanted and you know building a house starting from scratch because we're not going to be like using old furniture like i really wanted to curate the space and don't worry i'll be like filming that entire process but um so we're starting from scratch and so <laughs> of course i wanted to build wealth like during this seven months so um i judged about seven different competitions and when i tell you that took up so much of my time like that was like my entire weekend and in the midst of that we're just like getting really deep we got a braid coming out <laughs> And in the midst of that, I um, also picked up a part-time job, which I think I've mentioned to you guys before, but I started copywriting. So I'm a copywriter at like um, an agency and there was this really big contract that I signed and it took up a lot of my time. Like, honestly, I'll tell you if I, so from literally eight to five, I was, you know, doing my um, job as a carbon accountant, as a sustainability manager. And then after that, I would go teach. And then when I would come home, I would literally start copywriting. So there was like just no space in my schedule to film, to like take a break. It's been, it's been a little intense, but you know, I, I don't regret it. I'm so glad that I like grinded and I'm like used to grinding. Like that's, that's just something like a part of my nature. I don't know why, but like the grind is, I love the grind, <laughs> but something I had to give. So I just like did not have the bandwidth or capacity to film, but I'm so excited because today I just turned in my last copy um, for that contract. And so I think it's been like, maybe four or five months that I've been working on this contract. Yeah, it was a bunch of a bunch of writing. It was for all the um, innovation quarter events happening downtown, which is really nice. I got to be connected to my city in a way. And actually there's some really cool things happening in um, in Winston that you know I'm excited that I got to be a part of and so I was writing for the website I was writing for their calendar item I was doing social media Facebook Instagram well not Instagram Facebook <laughs> Facebook LinkedIn Twitter I mean X and um, yeah so it was it was a bunch of work I I'm super glad for it like I'm so grateful for the opportunity I look forward to doing like more copywriting in the future but yeah this was just a huge huge project in addition to the judging and in addition to when I wasn't judging the weekends I wasn't judging I was at a competition with um, my studio so it was it's just been chaos for the past literally past five months like li literally uh, i'm not gonna even like try and act like it was chill <laughs> um, but yeah and then in addition to this was like my busy season 
for uh, carbon accounting or am I at my job, my day to day job. So um, it's like when everyone wants their you know footprint done. So we were like grinding and it's been it's been crazy. But you know last weekend was our recital. It was so beautiful. The theme was love and. <laughs> You're like, hmm, Monet, you're getting married. The thing was love. Yeah, that was intentional. My mom had the great idea to like dedicate this year to Quinn and I's love because we've been together for so, so long. Um, almost been together. Met in sixth grade. Best friends in eighth grade. Started dating probably around 11th grade. That line's kind of blurry, but yeah. And we've been together ever since. And now, you know, I don't know 10 plus years later we are getting married in Paris so it's a bunch of exciting things coming up but don't worry this was just kind of like a transition period for me because you're gonna be seeing homemaking videos you're gonna be seeing of course my Paris wedding videos so it's gonna be a a bunch of content coming your way it was kind of like me brewing because we're kind of going through a brand like almost a brand change like so much change um you know just between like owning a home like that's a big difference and so yes that's just a little a little a little snippet about what's been going on in my life I'm super excited to share with you guys and so thanks for being so patient <laughs> but do do expect much more content coming your way in terms of Monet Beatty. Yes but let's switch gears a little bit and talk about the wedding because guys it's in like 40 days which is like where does the time go someone please explain it to me I, I really don't know but um yeah so almost in a month. <laughs> So you're like, Monet, did you get a dress? Do you like know what you're wearing? So I did get a dress. Woo! I'm gonna insert some clips of me trying on the dresses that you know were like my top, um, top contenders basically. But yeah, so I had went through. I think it was like a couple months ago. I was going around and we were just calling around trying to see you know local places because I had gone to places in Tennessee and just all around. And I had called a place that's located in High Point. And so we checked it out. I found a dress that I kind of liked. I knew that I wanted something glamorous because I guys I'm, I'm a very extra person like I just am like I want the glitz and glams sparkles lace all of that like I wanted it all. So I found this this dress that I really liked it was it didn't fit like perfectly like it didn't fit like the way that I wanted it to fit like I wanted it to really sculpt my body and me and my mom were like okay this is the closest thing that we have found and well how about we just how about we just you know we'll get it tailored and we'll get it you know fitted for you so i'm like okay 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 but then it's still like i left the place we actually had to run and go do rehearsal so we couldn't like purchase it or anything but i was you know i just didn't feel like that was my dress you know i was just like i was starting to get so discouraged guys i was like man i'm just not gonna find my dream dress like and i had tried on at least 50 dresses Dresses. like it's not like I wasn't looking like we were being intentional and I I didn't have I knew what I wanted or I knew what I liked but I just couldn't find you know that specific dress I was like I figured that we was gonna have to fly out to California or something and like go to those you know really luxury boutiques to get the dress that I wanted I mean you know but okay so anyways my mom I'm not even sure who told us about this place but oh yes okay I remember so we're looking around and we're like okay do you have anything else like do you have I asked the lady at this high point um I think it was called falling in love and I was like do you have any um couture that's what we asked her and she was like oh we don't really sell anything at that price point you might need to check out Duchess Duchess Bridal Boutique and I mean I mean for another like wedding store to t to like um encourage us to go to another wedding store like if she hadn't done that I would have never found my dress like I would have never found it. so we anyways we called up Duchess Bridal Boutique and it was like really it was like five and we're like hey can you squeeze me in by chance and they're like mm. and I was like I've tried on so many dresses I can't find the dress that I want um I just really didn't feel that great about that dress we had found and she was like okay like she was like your your wedding dress experience should be like this wonderful amazing thing i'll squeeze you in so they squeezed me in that day after rehearsal we went there and when i tell you this place was like the most gorgeous place i've ever seen in my entire life like it was stunning it was like what i had been imagining like 
the caliber of dresses the just the many different options that were all like so gorgeous luxurious they didn't look cheap i started realizing that the other dresses i have been looking at just look like i'm not gonna lie like they look like she and dresses i'm not even trying to be funny but it just didn't look like the quality of what i imagined myself walking down the aisle but anyways it was like a dream come true when i walked in that place i saw this immediately gorgeous dress and i was like oh my god that has to be the dress that i'm going to get and i tried it on and it was it was stunning it was stunning this is like it was beautiful but it just didn't feel like me but i i loved it i i truly did i just knew that was gonna be my dress but i don't know i think i wanted just something it just didn't feel like 100 percent me and i think that's why this process has been so difficult because i am so many different there's so many facets of myself like there's um there's like a clean girl aesthetic there's a very glamorous glitz and glam side of me but there's also someone who just loves to look elegant and so um i don't know it was like it was clicking ticking some of the boxes but i still wanted that like glamorous feel that i kind of carry myself with and so i tried on this other dress that was just all glitz and glam like it was just like almost too much like it didn't feel like a wedding dress it felt like something you would wear to the met gala or like on the red carpet but when i tell you i thought this was gonna be my dress, i thought it was gonna be, i was like oh my god i look so cute but then when i tried on the third dress it was the perfect blend of everything it was really me in a wedding dress which is just like so crazy and special to um kind of embody and um and, and visualize so i was like oh my god and i like the other two dresses i was like like, I love these, I love these, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And then I tried on this dress and was like, this is a dress. And one thing that my mom kept saying is that, you know, I wasn't fidgeting this dress. It was just like kind of silence and calm. And I'm just wearing this dress like, and it felt so at peace. It was, it was just weird sensation. I'm talking about buying a dress. And also guys, I'm, I, I love dresses. I love trying on clothes. I love fashion. I love, you know, creating the look. So you're probably like, girl, Monet, you're, you're, you're being mad extra right now. This is just a wedding dress. But to me, it's kind of like an extension of who I am. <laughs> um, so anyways, am I getting like too meta, a little too meta? It, I might be, but let me know in the comments what y'all think. Am I a little crazy? I might be, who knows? Um, so anyways, we got the dress. It was amazing. I tried on a couple dresses just for funsies and I cannot send Duchess Bridal's um, enough praises because they have like turned kind of like a bad situation where I was like, I thought I was gonna just kind of settle for a dress. Like that is kind of like the worst feeling ever. I thought I was gonna have to settle for a dress and I found that perfect one. So highly, highly recommend. They are on the expensive end. I'm gonna let you know, they are on the expensive end. But that's what you're looking for, I highly recommend. <laughs> and also even for, I've got so many story times, guys. <gasps> I've just been missing talking to you. But um, uh, but anyways, in terms of like this bridal shower, which is so funny. So again, I've been so busy and also just trying to save money. Like I didn't wanna like spend frivolously on like, um you know, on clothes that I really didn't need. And so I've been kind of hesitant with like the whole bridal stuff and like buying like quote unquote things that I will never use again. So I don't, I'm really just kind of like hesitating, you know, buying junk. And so I didn't want to overload on the white dresses. So I had a white dress that I wore for our engagement shoot. That was cute in Asheville at the Biltmore house. That was cute. And, but I was looking for a white dress for today. And it had gone until Friday where I was like, I still don't have a dress and I didn't want to wear my engagement dress because it was, that was my engagement dress, okay? You can judge me if you want, but I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, we went to the mall. I couldn't find anything that I liked. I found this one dress in Windsor that was very mid. I didn't really like it that much, but it took, it's a sundress theme um, for today. And it was a sundress and it was white. I was just like, and it was $60. Y'all, I don't remember the last time I spent $60 on a dress, which is just, that tells you a lot. I spent like, honestly, $10, $15 on my dresses where they're like regularly priced I don't know like a hundred dollars so that was that and i was i was feeling a little discouraged i was just like man this doesn't feel like me like i don't know maybe i'm just very meticulous when it comes to my clothing but i wasn't really excited about it and me and my mom are pretty tired but she's like let's just run a tj maxx money let's just run a tj maxx i'm like okay fine i didn't think they was gonna have anything but lo and behold they had the perfect sundress white dress that is literally gorgeous it's me it's extra and it was only 25 dollars like okay 
Okay, so I'm, first of all, I think the lessons are to never shop at the mall again. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But check those like discount price stores first for sure because you never know. They have some like serious hidden gems. And I know I always have been advocating for, for Ross like since I started this YouTube channel. Um, so Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, hit those places up first before you like try and break the bank for like a dress that should have been $10. But um, so yeah, super excited about today. Found the perfect dress and shout out to my best friend who's been um planning the entire thing like i just get to show up and look pretty which is so exciting because y'all i would have never i don't think this would have happened if it wasn't for desiree because um yeah i've just been so so busy i haven't really been able to think about okay you're about to be your bride and and since like we're kind of past the storm i'm excited because like even this weekend this is the first weekend that i've had like where i did wasn't busy this was the first day i could sleep in i literally slept until like 11 which was so nice last night i <laughs> i watched princess diaries i don't know i was just in the mood for like some wholesome like girly something to watch so i watched that and it was so nice i did my toenails i painted them white um i braided my hair as you can see and i washed my hair so it was just so nice to like unwind um yeah and we've kind of like moved past like the grinding storm and now i can just focus on pets i can focus on the wedding i can focus focus on the house too we i bought one thing well yeah, I bought one piece of furniture and that is this like gorgeous table. Can't wait to show it to you guys. But um, yeah, we've got lots of stuff to do and super excited to share with you guys. Yes, but in terms of like next steps for me, whoo, so we got the bridal shower this weekend i really want to complete the itinerary for paris i've been working i worked on it all last night um and i was like painting my toenails you know doing my hair and i i don't know if i was watching princess diaries and working on my paris itinerary and was so like just i don't know rejuvenating it was just really nice to just kind of get some time to myself and you know really think about the future and get some girl time too because y'all the girl time has been it's been a little little scarce i'm gonna be honest with you Ooh, we are starting to really get this look together wow it's coming together all right guys now that we're pretty much done with the face i gotta add some lips but let's go ahead and take these braids out and see if my hair actually dried All right, this is how the final look came out. I'm kind of obsessed, uh, but here are the actual highlights from the bridal shower. Everyone looks so lovely in their sundresses. It was such a gorgeous evening. Check out the display of the food. Check out that charcuterie board. I mean, done so well. And we even had macaroons, which is my favorite cookie. My favorite game that they played was put the ring on the bride while blindfolded i mean they did so good it was so fun to watch them and i just want to say thank you to christina soriano and evie soriano for opening up your home to all of us and hosting the most wonderful bridal shower thank you to desiree for planning and thank you to everyone who was able to come to this event and make it so special for me